Hello everyone, this is Link2012. Currently I don't have enough time to stream, but I wanted to make a quick video on this because I just started up BTD6 to finish a quick challenge that I had trouble doing earlier today. And what do you know, it's Easter themed. So we apparently have like Easter BTD6 now, which is absolutely amazing. I've never experienced an event before. But yeah, I'm gonna check it out with you guys here quick quick. This is my first impressions. Also for those of you curious on what on earth this is, so we get some daily rewards. It looks like the daily rewards are slightly more valuable. Uh, normally we get like 10 monkey money. This time it's, you know, 20 monkey money. It's also got reskins on that. I've also noticed something. So if you click the statues and all that, we get all sorts of little <laughs> Easter themed towers, which is fantastic. Um, so the challenges don't appear to be different yet, which is cool. Well, we got this little thing right here. And it says, earn collection rewards by winning any map. Alright, so apparently you get eggs for winning games and allows you to get rewards. Cool. Do you have to play particular maps is what I wonder. We're going to be playing a lot this weekend. I got a lot of free time. We're going to be playing a lot. For those of you that are seeing this, if it's like within a few days, come to my streams. We're going to have a blast. Alright, so I don't, that's not... Yeah, so mm, I'm super interested in this. Let's just hit play, okay? It looks like we can play- oh, there's an exclamation mark point. Oh! New map! Spring Spring! Oh, so you get like different egg amounts? Wait, 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 okay. So I want to check something out here too. Alright, uh, let's go to this thing. So let's just go hard, because we have beaten hard. So it looks like you do gain the same amount of eggs, depending on the difficulty. Now I'm also wondering... Oh, let's go to a map we've like completely completed. So let's say we go to a map like uh, Cubism. Cubism we've beaten, you know, 100%. We go hard. Uh, yeah, so you do get a few extra if you do Impoppable or Chimps mode. Which is pretty neat. That's kind of cool. You know, that's worth it because Chimps is just obscenely difficult. But yeah, no, we're going to go ahead and play this new map and see all the cool mechanics here. It's an intermediate map. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, maybe I should not have used Owen. I don't care. Let's go. Um, all right, Owen, you are just going to get plopped down right here at the front. I don't even care. We're going to get a uh, like, cute little dart monkey right here. Boom. There we go. Oh, it's Easter themed too. You see all these eggs? I was wondering if the towers had Easter themed skins. It doesn't look like they have Easter themed skins. So what we're going to do after this as well is that we are going to go check out the patch notes if that's possible. I don't know if it is, but if it is... Let me go check them out. I can't remember how to do it, but we can see. We'll try our best. All right, this is so exciting though. It doesn't look like, because I remember there being a Halloween event a while back. I wasn't playing BTV6 back then, but I do remember there being an event. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is actually perfect. This is a really, really easy map. This is actually really good. I like it. Uh, this is a good map, just a good map. But during that event, you could gain like candy during the rounds and it would have special effects on the game, which was really neat. Dude, this is actually a really cool map, because you got the balloons that come up around here, and then they go around here, so you, you have plenty of time to pop the balloons. You got these little islands, you got water, and you got just big island in the middle to do with whatever you want. Obviously, I'm not going to do any strategy here, because as we all know, I'm a noob. I'm not a big noob. I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're just gonna go ahead and be easy here, see how it goes. It seems fun so far. I think I want to get some blue gunners on these islands here, just so that way we can get that range for our monkey sub. And then so perhaps something back here. I'm not sure what I want. Maybe like some ninjas. Yeah, ninjas would be good, because then we can detect camo. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab some those now. Uh, I can never remember the hotkeys. I'm trying to use I'm trying to learn all the hotkeys here, for those of you wondering. Come, by, come drop by the stream and reprimand me for my terrible use of hotkeys. Alright. There we go. Perfect. So we should be set here. Yes. Pretty easy so far. Haven't run into any problems. Oh, we got a lead, popping power, we got our camo. Don't really have any ceramic, but we should be fine. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna get some glue gunners here too. Glue gunners are just gonna be great. Part of me wants uh, airburst darts, but at the same time, you know, airburst darts cost a little bit, so. I think now is a good time to save up for them. You know, put these guys on strong. Let's 
I'm such a big noob, I don't know which way I should put the arrows in order to get strong the fastest. Ugh. <laughs> Seriously though. Um, so it looks like we don't have this entire range in here covered. We do have it over up here. That's it. So we could theoretically get another monkey sub. We could get them with like barbs darts. That way we can kill camel legs then. That's an idea. Triple Brothers Dodge should also be pretty good. But nah, we're gonna go for some glue. Look at this corrosive glue. Oof. Delicious. Not delicious. Do not eat this stuff. Um, I do not recommend eating glue. Okay, this is this is very bad. All right, monkey sub, bam. Let's go get some barb darts, and then we can get heat tip darts. Boom, and we can get ballistic missile or whatever. So it looks like we're actually gonna have a little bit of trouble with camo balloons based off that interaction, but, oh well. We just want advanced intel here, boom, there we go. So we can shoot all the way across the map. We got extra damaging darts, heat seeking darts. Hmm. The last thing I think I might want are the armor piercing darts, which you have to get triplet guns to get first. We're gonna go get that. I'm really excited for this event. You know, I've, I've, I've been focusing on this map in the gameplay right now, but seriously, uh, what's what, most interesting about this event, I suppose to me, is that I, like, I know a lot of games don't normally celebrate religious holidays at all, even if they're really big holidays. Um, or, at least, or they won't, won't at least explicitly name them. I'm not sure if Ninja Kiwi is explicitly naming this like the Easter holiday or anything. Um, yeah, you know, it's probably mostly to avoid controversy, which, you know, is, is cool and all, but it's really interesting, you know? Because um, I've never really experienced sort of game developers doing that before, which is kind of kind of neat. I'm always used to, uh, yeah, just people just being like, eh, we just want to avoid the controversy. I'm really curious about those prize boxes too. Like, what are those gonna be? Are they gonna be like some super duper powerful reward? They can be like tier five insta monkeys. So are they gonna be some mass power ups, monkey knowledge? What could it be? I don't know. I haven't been here for the previous events. If I was here for the previous events, I would probably know. There were also some like. So, so here's the deal. There were also events back when I played uh, uh, Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense and Adventure Time Bloons Tower Defense. Unfortunately, I wasn't there long enough because it beat the game really, really quickly. Um, but the way that worked out was I actually, the one event that I could attend, I didn't attend in the end. I, I basically had beat the game at that point. I was just like, eh, eh, I've beaten all the maps. Why do I need to beat these new ones? Actually, I did beat the new ones, but I told myself, why do I need to go through and grab all of these sort of... The, the, what, what were the things you got in that one? Presents? Because it was a Christmas event, essentially. So, grabbed presents in that one. We could get a, a Bernie stuff. You know, we're just gonna like wreck this mob. The mob's just gonna come out and he's gonna be like, hey, what's up, guys? I'm here to chill. Oh, uh, nope, I'm not alive anymore. Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance. We don't have this range covered, so we might as well cover it right there. Boom. Bernie stuff. Let's go. Bernie stuff and uh, might as well get a bigger blast. Oh yeah, it's already dead. You see, we didn't even have time. Not even time. I would go through and calculate the efficiency of how to gain eggs, but too lazy. We're just gonna go enjoy ourselves. Right, let's go ahead and go home. The thing that I'm wondering mostly about though is I'm seriously curious about the the rewards. And I can't show you the rewards right now because we need a hundred stinking eggs. Hundred? Do you know how much BTD6 I have to play in order to get 100 eggs? 700 eggs. How many days is this? 12 days. I have to gain like, oh, sorry, my hand's going invisible. Ooh. All right. So this is 700, right? Like, no, that's once we reach gold, we get 700. Let's just assume we have to get a thousand eggs, right? Okay, a thousand eggs, one thousand eggs, divided by twelve days. All right, that's about eighty-three eggs a day. Okay, 
could be doable if we play a lot, which we probably will. Uh, all right, so we got the, those delicious 83 eggs. Now, it took us how much time have I, have I been recording this? So I've been recording this for like 10 minutes, but I think realistically an easy mode is only like eight minutes. So if we assume the efficiency is drawn out like that, so it's six eggs for like eight minutes, so almost like, so that'd be times six, times eight, divided by six equals, you'd have to play a little less than an hour and a half a day. No. Correction. You have to play a little under two hours a day. It's like 10 minutes less than two hours. So it's an hour and 50 minutes. In order to get this, assuming you're playing easy maps the whole time, which we probably won't, to be honest with you. We're probably going to go have a lot of fun. But yeah, no, that sounds pretty cool. I can't wait. I can't wait. Join the streams, guys. Join the streams. Oh wait, we get them every 20 eggs? Oh, snap, guys, I didn't even see that. I'm an idiot. All right, no, I'm not an idiot, okay? Don't say bad things to yourself. That's not how, I'm, I'm, bank, I'm being a bad role model right now. You should not do that. Okay. You get boxes every 20 eggs. Ooh, so it's up until 100 eggs that we get a regular crate, and then we get the special crates. So we're actually gonna get a lot of crates here. That's enough of that. Uh, what, do I want any? So I'm curious, like, are there any? Oh, is this a new Owen skin? Ah, it is. Look at that. Look at that. He's so pretty. We came from the oceans. We shall return to the oceans. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. All right. Let's see here. Can I see? Where can I see, like, the... I click this, this will, this will exit the game. So I can't even, I don't think I can show you immediately here. So, okay, we're gonna do th two things here. First, we're gonna like, so the cannons are normal. Oh no, they shoot eggs! Oh, that's so cool. I just wanna see all the differences in the main menu. So we got a little Easter bunny, uh, what's that, what are they called? Monkeys. <laughs> and if we click this thing, he's like in a chicken outfit. Neat. Oh, there's a ninja monkey. I actually didn't even know that animation existed. Oh, he used those carrots. Oh, this is too good. All right. That's it. Uh, nope, that's not. Oh, whoa. What? You can click the water? I didn't even know you could click the water. I'm learning new things. Oh, there's an Easter egg. You see this? I wish you could click the Easter eggs on the main menu. Like you couldn't, you, like you can in Balloon Super Monkey. Like, you know, Balloon Super Monkey where there's balloons on the map and you click them and they give you a few bloops. It's almost nothing, but... Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the game quick, quick here. Alright, boom. Goodbye, game. And then I'm going to open the main... I'm going to open the game again. That way we can see the patch notes. And then we can read them all. And then we'll be done. Then we'll be done. But this is exciting. This is so exciting. I'm so excited for the Easter update for BTD6. Well, I don't know if they're going to call it the Easter update, actually. You know, we were speculating. It's very Easter-themed. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I guess to be fair, it's like, there's no religious undertones or anything, you know, it's not about Jesus or anything, it's just Easter eggs, delicious Easter eggs with candy inside of them. Alright, let's go check the patch notes. Alright, Easter content! They, they called Easter, they called Easter. Alright, new Easter egg collection event. New intermediate map. Spring Spring, I love Spring Spring, it looks like a fantastic map. New hero skin, Ocean Owen. Insta Monkey portraits, updated. Pat Fusty, bad popping issue resolved. I don't know what that issue was because I'm a noob at the game like I've been telling you all, but that's great. The more bugs that are fixed in the game, the better. All right, bug fix patch. Uh, yeah, so we actually don't need to care about that. It's 10.0. And probably a ton of tower balances that I don't know about that I might state my, my opinion on later on, even though it doesn't even matter because I'm just a regular old BTD6 player. I've noticed that they do update tower, uh, sort of like stats between major updates. Uh, for instance, I know that last update in 9.0, some of the, they didn't announce it, but they changed the, uh, what's it called, Icicle and Pale's damage. And I noticed that because it was testing them out, um, same conditions on a map, 
in order to, like, sort of determine the DPS of towers. Oh well. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. And I had monkey knowledge disabled, so all the tests were constant, you know, I made sure all of them. Alright. That's gonna be it for today. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this entertaining, please leave a like. If you did not, leave a dislike. And until next time, don't forget to contribute, and as always, make the most of your day.